Perfect. So all we're going to do is click on, yeah, click on ads manager. And then um, let's go back to the dashboard. So if you can click on it there, or you can go to your folder. You do have a folder right at the top. Ads manager folder. Yeah, I do. Okay, cool. Yeah, this is where we want to be. Perfect. Okay, so as you come back here, you just always want to make sure you're in the right account. So the way you know that is the drop down. So you'll see the drop down in the top left. Um, there should be a drop. Yeah, there's your drop down. Okay, cool. So that's the account you're in. So by default, actually the drop down in the top where it says your name. That by uh, default, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. as you come in here, you'll you'll probably be thrown into that account, but we need to be in the other one. So hit the drop down and go to your real estate one, which okay. yeah, perfect. That one. So always make sure, always double check. Because again, Facebook will throw you in these other random accounts. Okay. So so now we're good. So right here, this is this is where we left off at. So what we can do, let's just start from the beginning. Let's just check the box to the left. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to take you just from beginning to end. Yeah, and then okay. just delete it. So hit the little trash can right there. Yeah, okay. we'll just delete this one. Start from scratch. Yeah. Okay, cool. Perfect. So all we're going to do is click on the green button, create. And then we're going to go with video views. Now, here's where, here's where, and as I'm taking you through it, it's really just a three step process. Like you have the campaign, which is a campaign objective. Which objective are we going with? And then the second tab, the second step would be the budget, the targeting, um, and pretty much it. That's the second step, the, the actual second tab. And then the third tab will be the actual ad. Are we going to run an image? Are we going to run a video? Um, what are we going to put in it? So all that is on the third step, the third tab. So as I kind of go through it with you, I'll just kind of explain like each step because there's, there's little things that are super important. This, this ad right here, the intro video, it's the only one that we go with under video views. Where okay. a lot of people go wrong when they run ads is because it's a video, they, they automatically assume that it's always going to be video views. When, when it's not like video views is exactly what it is. Video views. The only reason why you'll ever want to run a video view ad. It's not for, it's not, it's not to capture leads. That's for sure. Like you and I were in the lead capture business, you know, so, so if you're in the lead capture business and you're, you're looking to capture a lead, or if you're looking to make a sell, but you're going with video views because it's a video, that's where everyone goes wrong is because they think that, okay, if we can get thousands of people to view it, we may get some leads or we may get someone to purchase. That's not going to happen. So where everyone goes wrong is because it's a video, they always go with video views when that's not the right objective. The only reason why we're going to go with video views for this first one, and the only reason why anyone would go with video views is to capture the audience. So, so just like we kind of kept looking at that 20% off discount, we kept watching that simple video. That's why people put out video that well, people who actually know what they're doing with advertising. That's kind of the only reason is you'll run a video view ad just to capture the audience. So, so then you can retarget them in the future with conversions. It's conversions that you'll be at on ad number two and on conversions. Okay. That's lead capture conversions. So okay. um, now that's when you have a landing page, like that's when you have your own landing page. So if I'm seeing your ad, I click on it. I then go to your web page where you're then asking for name and email. You're capturing a lead. You're, you took me off of Facebook. I clicked your ad. You took me off of Facebook to a different web page. And now I'm entering my name and email on your listing. Or now I'm inquiring on a seller guide or whatever it may be. That's conversions because you have a web page. For those that don't have a web page, a landing page, an opt in page, whatever you want to call it and you need one, that would be lead generation. That's when you use Facebook's lead form. So Facebook provides a, a landing page type of web page type of form that's under lead generation. So a lot of real estate agents and brokers that don't have web pages, they use lead generation. That's what a lot of, a lot of agents do. They'll use lead generation. Okay. Um, the only reason why I don't personally use lead generation is because then once I capture that lead using the lead generation objective here, that lead is then imported automatically into my Facebook business page. And then I have to export that lead into a CRM or some type of email autoresponder. And so if I'm going to have to pay for an email autoresponder, I might as well pay for the landing page 
with it. Like I might, cause there's some software right. out there that are all in one. So if I'm going to pay for, cause that's what you're going to have to pay for. If you go lead generation and you rely on Facebook's lead form, because you don't have a web page of your own that you're taking them to, which would be for conversion ads. So if you're just going lead generation and using Facebook's form, you still have to get some type of email autoresponder. And so most of them, most of them charge, there are some free ones out there to a certain extent, and then you have to eventually start paying for them. But just like any CRM, any email autoresponder, normally you're paying for it. So you'll still need, you'll still need a third party software is what I'm saying. So you might as well just go conversions and get get a lead, get some type of software that has everything in one. It's landing pages, it's email automation, and an online calendar. Okay. So 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 those three tools: landing pages, email autoresponder, and an online calendar. Those are the three tools that you can get in in certain softwares. Most of them are separate softwares, but but that's why a, an agent, for example, would go with lead generation. So they don't have to go get landing pages, but at the same time, you need an email autoresponder and you need some online calendar. You know, if, if you're in the business of capturing leads and getting appointments, which, which in your case, you are, you're in the business of appointments. So as you capture the lead, you can go lead generation and use Facebook's form to capture the lead. But after you capture the lead, that lead needs to be nurtured via some type of email autoresponder. And, okay. and, and at the same time, again, because you're in the business of appointments, you need people on the phone, you're looking for that next buyer, you're looking for that next seller, you're looking for appointments, you need some type of online calendar. So again, that's what that's what agents normally have to pay for separately. If they go lead, lead generation, they still have to get an email automation software, and they still need some type of online calendar if they're trying to automate everything. And that's what this is all about. What I really want you want, you, what I'm really trying to teach you out of all this is to automate everything. Um, so long story short, I would be going with conversions for your next ad and on it's conversions. Okay. And, and that's when you'll have to look into different software for a landing page, but that's, that's, that's our next ad and on right now we're just on video views. And the, again, the only reason why we're going to do this one time and one time only is to simply capture the audience of those who watched our intro video. So what I'm gonna walk you through here is is how you set up a video view ad and then how we create a custom audience of all those who actually watch it. Because again, the only reason why we're going with video views is so we can capture the audience and then retarget them with our future ads, which our future ads will be conversions. Okay. Okay. So, so as we set up this ad, there's going to be a potential reach of X amount of people. We just need X amount of people to watch this video. And that becomes yeah. our audience. That becomes our warm audience that we can then run future ads to. And, and by that time, they would have seen you before because they watched the intro. You know what I mean? So, um, so we're going to go video views and then scroll down, hit the drop down right above the blue button. Yeah, hit that drop okay. down and scroll down. This is where we can simply label label everything and, and all it is is a simple title so as you um behind this little window here you have campaigns right there to the left you have that green button you don't have to click on anything but to the left you can see behind this little square you have that green button behind that's the dashboard so so those are three tabs right behind this little pop-up here these are the titles of those three tabs okay so the campaign the ad set the ad. These are the titles of those tabs that are behind this pop-up. Okay. And those are the only three steps. So the campaign, what we're going to name it, we could just name everything here. And, and, and it's just a name. So when we look at everything at the dashboard level, we can know exactly what ad that is. So in this case, simple intro video, intro video is the title. And then in parentheses, we're going to put video views. So we know the objective, the campaign objective the objective is just choosing which one did you go, which one, video views, watch, scroll back up. So what I name name it here in parentheses is a simple objective that I'm going with, video views. But if that was conversions, okay. I would have put video number two, and then I would have put conversions in parentheses. Okay. Right? Okay. Just so when I look at everything from a 30,000 square foot view on the dashboard, I can look at that title and know exactly what that what ad that is versus having to click on it and go into it. Gotcha. Okay. Right? So I'm just, I'm just labeling it something I can look at from a distance and know, okay, I know exactly what ad that is. And, and in this case, when you just look at that title, intro video, video views. And, and so the ad set, what I do in the ad set, that's the second tab. And that's where we choose our budget. We choose our targeting. 
So in that case, in this case with a title on the ad set, I just simply title it the town or the city that you're targeting. So okay. if, if it's DFW, then then that goes there. If it's a different area, then then we'll name it there. Now, once we go into that step, we'll actually choose that location. But here, we're just simply titling it. Okay. So okay. if I put DFW and then I target like Flower Mound and 20 miles out or whatever. I, I would put Flower Mound. I wouldn't even put DFW. I, this, this right okay. here, I'll try to be as specific as possible. So if it's Flower okay. Mound, 20 miles, then, then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to label that there. Um, and then the ad is is the same as 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 the the, the first title intro video, um, video views. I would just probably put the same thing intro video video views. That's fine, perfect. So so that just allows us to name everything, um, and and we'll try to just be as as short and descriptive as possible. Perfect. So we'll hit continue, and now we go into the first step, which is which is a campaign. The video views. So that's where we're at. So if you look here in the top left, those are our three steps. Intro video, okay. flower mound, intro video. Those are the three steps we're about to go through right now. So this is step one, intro video, video views, the campaign step. So all we're going to do here is hit that drop down special ad category and you'll go with housing. You'll always, always, always do this. Always hit the drop down, always go okay. with housing um, or the ad will get rejected if you don't right. choose housing. So scroll down. Okay. Okay. And then we don't need anything else down here. So campaign budget optimization, you can leave that off and we'll just hit next. So that's, okay. that's step one. That's the first tab is simply choosing housing and simply choosing video views and titling everything right then and there. That's it. That's step one. Now over here, step two, this is where we go with our budget and this is where we go with our targeting. So um, when it comes to the budget, you got daily. And then if you hit the drop down, you got lifetime. It's the same dollar amount. It's just spent either daily or spent over time. So if I went with lifetime, I would go with the start date and end date. I would actually maybe um, set up a calendar. So for example, if my budget was was if my budget was ten dollars a day for for ten days, then I can mm -hmm. just go ten dollars daily budget, right? And then and then set up the calendar. But if my budget is still the same, hundred bucks, ten dollars, ten days, hundred dollars, I could just go lifetime, and then I'll put a hundred just like you did, and then I'll still set the calendar. So it's just okay. allowing Facebook to spend the dollar, however they want, daily. Um, because if you cap them at at, at ten dollars a day, but they could have spent thirteen bucks that day because so much traffic was online, and they could have probably got more people in that given twenty four hour period to view it then you would have probably wanted to go lifetime, you know, so, so lifetime budget is, is, is what, is what you should go with lifetime and then just choose that calendar date. Okay. Okay. But then here's another, here's another quick little side note as well. The way you kind of look at that budget, this is one ad. So the way you want to kind of look at, and this is really the beginning, this is the beginning of your, of your, of your, of your campaign of what can be, this is the beginning. The way you want to look at it is, it is like, as if you were running a, 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 new, a new ad every week. So if it was a new ad every seven days, if our plan was to roll out a new ad every seven days, which would be a new video every week, right? Every seven days, there's a new video. That's, that, that's how I want you to kind of picture this. Okay. So, so if, our, if our strategy was to run a new video to Flower Mound every seven days, what's the overall budget for the month? So, so, so if our budget, let's say, for example, you go seven days, you're going 10 days in this, but if it was seven days, a hundred a week. So therefore, therefore 400 a month is where we're at. So if, if that's the budget, that's how you want to break down this. You want to break down, this is week one. Okay, okay. cool. So if our budget is, is, is 400, then it's, then it's a hundred a week. Right. So that's how you kind of want to, want to look at this, um, but 10 days is fine from the 16th to the 26th. That's fine. Leaving it at, at whatever. Okay. Um, but, um, but, but if it's a hundred, then, then maybe, maybe do a hundred every 10 days. Okay. Maybe look at it that way. All I'm trying to do is really help you with, with this budget and how to look at it, look at it for the overall month, whatever you plan on spending monthly, break it down into quarters because this is week one. This is, this is, this is the first quarter, you know? So, um, Okay. So, so on an intro video, you could definitely go 10 days. Cause again, what we're really trying to do with this is get, get a few thousand people to view it. So if it took 10 days versus seven days, 
then let's do that. You know, 16th to the 26th, let's get a few more thousand people to, to watch this. Because again, this is, this is the springboard. This is the beginning. We need this audience to show them our future ads. Okay. You know, so, um, so yeah, leave it, leave it hundred. That's fine. 26, let it run for 10 days and scroll down. And so now all we're going to do is we're going to simply, um, and what I do on the time, what I do on the time is I started at 12 AM. So, so let that, yeah, let, let's go 12 AM start date, start time, and then 12 AM end time. And, and when? Actually, you know what? This, that's that's more for a like ad, and if we're targeting everyone, you're targeting local. That's right. So go six a.m. I'm so sorry, six a.m. and go the sixteenth. So it's going to be March sixteenth, and I think you already had that, that, but it changed. Um, yeah, go March sixteenth, <laughs> six a.m. When you're running local ads, it's six a.m. So okay. let's change both both times. Yeah, I'm sorry. So 6 a.m., 6 a.m., we're good. Okay, perfect. So now we scroll down and see, so here, right here, custom audience. What we're going to do with this first intro video, again, is we're going to create a custom audience. We want to we retarget those who watched a good amount of it. If it's a minute long, okay, well, then we're going to create an audience of those who watch at least 25 seconds. At least 25 seconds, that's our custom audience. So if this was ad number two, for example, and we're now on conversions, no more video views. We're now going to conversions. This is our next ad. We're now going to be giving away a seller guide. And now we're retargeting our custom audience. So we would, we would click in that box right there. Now it's not going to be there right now. We'll create it after this. But, but if this was our future ad, we would click right there. We would click on custom audience. Okay. And then I would choose my custom audience of my intro video and I'm going to name it. So we're going to be able to name it, whatever we want. So if you click on custom audience, you would see intro video viewers, 25%. Okay. That would be the name of our audience. These are people who watched our intro video for at least 25%, which, okay. which would be, you know, 25% of the length of that video. So if it was a two minute video, those who watched 25% of it. Right, that'd be the, the a good audience to create, which we'll we'll create after this. But what I'm saying is that if this was our future ad, we're now conversions. You'll see that audience right there. So okay. every every video, whether it's video views or conversions, every single video you're going to create a custom audience, which I'll show you how to do after this. But every every video, every video you're creating a custom audience, every video that you're running an ad on, not a video that you just post on your Facebook page because you're just posting it for the hell of it. That's not that's not the audience we want because majority of people who like your page right now that would see a video that you randomly post, they're going to be from all over the place. So I don't need that custom audience. We only need the custom audience of those who we ran an ad on of those videos that we ran an ad on because those 7000 people that watched that specific video actually live in Flower Mound. So okay. I want a custom audience around that video, right, because we ran an ad on it, but but not not any other video. But we'll see it right here. And then what we'll do, scroll down, click out of this. The reason why the web pages are so important, going with conversions versus click out of the, click out of that one, get rid of the drop down there. I'm trying to get rid of it. And we'll... See if you can um see if you can click like right there. Or if you just click um, yeah, there, there you go. go. Perfect. Okay. Finally. So here, here's why when you run convert, you stay right here, like right here, right here. Perfect. What the reason why, okay, again, most agents will go with lead generation. Most businesses that don't have any type of landing page, they'll go with lead generation, that objective, right? That's using Facebook's form. The reason why using going conversions and having your own landing page software is super important is because as I go to your landing page, like, let me, let me share my screen because this is super important and this is the section yeah. we're on. So I'm, I'm just really trying to trying to teach you as we go through. Um, here's, let me show you an example. Um, let me go to, okay, let's say for example, let's say for example, we are running an ad on a listing. Okay, so I see your ad, I'm in the news feed. Let's just say I'm, I'm, I'm in the news feed. I'm just scrolling through randomly, you know, seeing what my friends are up to and seeing what everyone's posting. And then all of a sudden I come across a sponsored ad. Let's just, this for example right here. 
Okay. So here's, here, here's, here's your web page or your business page sponsored. You're running an ad and let's say you're running an ad on a listing, right? So I click on learn more. I come to your one web page. I come to the, to the, to the landing page that I've been talking about this whole entire time landing page. This is someone running a conversion ad. So as you set up the ad objective, you went with conversions. So now I click on the ad, I come to this one web page, get instant access to the price and photos of this property, homes in this market move extremely fast, and then just a few bullet points. View all 17 photos now. So that person would come here and they enter their name and email, send me the details. This next page over here is the most important. This is your thank you page. So, so right here, this people who landed on this specific link, it could have been the same for an open house. I was running an ad on an open house. They go to my webpage, they enter their name and email, they come to a thank you page. It could have been this, it could have been the same for those that let's say I'm running an ad and giving away my seller guide. I'm now looking for listings. I'm looking for people that are looking to sell. So now I'm doing weekly Facebook ads, targeting DFW and giving people education on what it takes to sell. And my call to action is to click learn more. It will take you straight to my webpage where you can download my free seller guide. So now I'm coming onto the market and I'm, I'm offering my free seller guide. That person, they come here, they enter their name and email, send me your 10 tips. They come over here to the second page, which is my thank you page. This link right here is the most important. So what we would do in this case, anyone who lands here on a thank you page, that's a lead. And this is a very specific lead. This is a seller guide lead. So what I would do inside of Facebook is I would take this link and I would create a custom audience and I would name that audience seller guide leads. Okay. So now go back to your, your, your screen, share your screen. So let's say that happened on ad number two. So as we get to ad number two, this intro video is video views, video views, and it's ad number one. As we go to our second ad and now we go conversions and now we're giving away a seller guide. That's when we start capturing leads. People start going to your webpage, they click, they download your free seller guide. These are people that are raising their hands and saying, hey, I have an interest in selling. I'll take that. They okay. land on the thank you page. Now we have that custom audience. Now that custom audience starts to build, the more leads we start to get. Here's where this part takes that. Here's where this all makes sense. From ad number three and on, that happened on ad number two. I ran conversions. Now I'm capturing leads because now I'm giving away a seller guide or a listing, whatever. Listing, same thing. It'd be conversions. If I have an open house coming up this weekend and I'm running an ad, it's conversions. I'm taking people to that landing page. They're opting in for more information regarding our open house. They land on the thank you page. I'm talking about that thank you page. That's a lead. That's an open house lead. So in Facebook, we would create that. Anyone who lands on that page, we would make it very specific. That is a lead. So now as I go run future ads, I exclude. So I would then now click on exclude and I would exclude anyone on that list. So if okay. I'm running seller guide ads and I'm trying to get people to download my seller guide, and now these are people who, who are also landing on the thank you page, I would start and I would need to start and I would want to start excluding that audience from ad number three and on because they already downloaded my seller guide. They don't need to keep seeing ads, right? So just back okay. to that 20% ad that you and I kept seeing. Once you click on it and you down and you enter your name and email to download the 20% off coupon, that's when you stop seeing those ads because now they're excluding you because you're already in a, in a, in a specific audience. Okay. okay. That's why custom audiences are so important. They're either people that I'm going to retarget that are watching my previous videos or their audiences that I'm going to exclude because they already opted in on my ad. Okay. That's when you start showing relevant ads to the right people, right? Like that, that include and exclude is so, so important, which we'll get into in the future. That's, that's where most shoot their, their, themselves in the foot with, with, with not seen an ROI on Facebook ads. A lot of people will run an ad and expect that ad to convert right away. Where Facebook ads, where what it's all about is retargeting your previous audiences. 
That's why this intro video is so important. We need to create an audience. We need the audience. We need to find those who actually re resonate with you, that actually find you somewhat interesting, that actually sit there and watch it for the first time. We need that audience. But at the same time, you need that audience for every ad. And, and if whether that, that audience is going to be someone who watches your third video, fourth video, fifth video, video, that's one audience, people who are watching your videos. But another audience are those who, again, land on the thank you page. You need to start excluding that audience from future ads. But then also it's people who land on your landing page, but don't opt in. So I could have saw your listing ad, clicked on it, went to the web, web page, but didn't fill out the form for whatever reason. Or you're running a seller guide and you're giving away a seller guide, a seller guide. You're running ads on giving away your seller guide. I click, I go to your web page to download it. I click the button. I'm getting ready to, to enter my name and email, but for whatever reason, I don't. That's a specific audience. Those are people who landed on my web page but didn't opt in. Now I have those people in an audience and I'm going to show them my next ad. Okay. That's retargeting. And that's what one, that's what 99% of Facebook advertising is all about. And that's where you're going to win. That's why staying consistent with these ads are very, very important because you're creating audiences. That's what you're doing. You're creating audiences that you're leveraging and retargeting in the future by showing them another ad. And that's what be, that, that, that's when, and that's what creates the omnipresence is the fact that people that live down the street keep seeing you. They keep seeing you because you're retargeting them because they watched previous stuff. It's all about the retargeting. So that's the include and exclude. I, I had to spend some time on that because that's where your money's at. That's where your okay. Facebook advertising ROI is going to be at is by retargeting people who've seen you before or excluding those who've already opted in. Okay. Okay. So, so now go to locations and just change out the United States and, and then obviously put in, put in flower mound and we'll just, um, and then the age, you cannot change the age anymore due to the housing um, category right. you're in, nor do you need to. So age is fine. Gender is fine. Um, we'll just go with people living in. Yeah, we'll go people living in this location. And then um, you can kind of play around with the mileage or the radius um, from here. So flower mound. Yeah, and always go with the drop down. Actually, take away the TX. Go back. Always go with the drop down. So there's the drop down right there. Perfect. Always go with the drop down. Um, and then you can change the 15 miles if that's not enough. But um, that should be plenty. <laughs> is that fine? Yeah. Okay, perfect. So what that's all we need is is that much. And then we can scroll down. And then that's pretty much all we need. We'll go with um, automatic placements. We'll just leave that as is automatic. And then that is it. So that's the second tab. The second okay. tab, the second step is just choosing the budget and choosing choosing the location of the targeting. That's it. So next, now as we come to the third and final step, th that's all there is to this, is, is now just using the existing post that's on the page. So go ahead and hit next. Okay. So so what, what some people do is they'll come over here and they'll just click on create ad. And and now now we're on the third, the third step. And it's a video that we're going to run. So what some people do is they'll create ad and they'll just simply add the video from their computer or from their download folder or their desktop, wherever that video, you know, is that at on their computer and they'll simply upload it here. Now, now we're on the third tab. You just upload it here. That's what some people do. But the reason why I don't, and that's one person, one person uploads it here. The second person which is how I, how I had you do it and how you did it is you uploaded it to your business page first. That's the second way to do it. So there's two ways to run this part. This third step is either grab that video from my computer or grab it from my business page. Okay. I had you, I had you grab, we're, we're grabbing it from your business page. And the reason for it is because if we're going to, the way I look at it is if we're going to spend money on this ad, that ad, that post might as well live on my page forever. And that's what ends up happening. So when we come in, well, ad, actually the ad is already going to shut off, you know, in 10 days or whatever you set the calendar, it shuts off automatically, but the post, it still stays on your page, which is a okay. good thing. If you don't post it on the business page first and you just come here and you create ad and you grab it from your download folder and you just upload the video here, the moment that ad is off, so is the post. It's no longer in cyber world. 
Mm. So, like, so I just yeah. look at it the way I look at it is if we're going to, if you're going to pay for it, you might as well let it live on the page. You know what I mean? That's why, I, that's why I always teach post it on the page first and then come back here and run it. So right okay. here, where it says add setup, hit that drop down, and we're not going to go with create ad. We're going to go with use existing post. Okay. And so all you're going to do is you're going to scroll down and then you'll see, yeah, you could have, you can click it there at the top or you can click it right here in the middle, select post. And okay. all it's going to do is bring up um, the existing ones. Yeah. So right there, just click on it, hit continue. And so that's why I was saying in the beginning where it's super important to make sure that the text, the title, the thumbnail, all that is good because now that we're here, we can't change anything. Okay. Right. So, so, so you always want to make sure everything is good from the beginning. So we're good. So right here now, all we're going to do is we can, we can um, actually send message. That's fine. That, that button, that call to action button is fine. But in the future, we'll put our own link there and that'll be the link to your webpage. So, okay. well, that's kind of where we're at next is, is trying to find the software for, for, for leads to generate leads, but this is all we need for now. So there's that. And now if you scroll down, you'll see message template right here. This is not super, it's not a, it's not a send message ad. First of all, it's just a video view ad. So although we added the send message button, no one's going to really hit it like at all, at all. It's only for in the future. If I come across your page three months from now and I'm scrolling through your timeline and I see this, okay, I can click the button and hit and send you a message. But the send messages, those messages won't be coming from this specific ad because it's not that type of ad. It's a simple video view ad. So the start conversation, you don't need any of that right now. So scroll down um, and then that's it. So the tracking, all that is, is, is good. You don't need anything like that. So click publish. And then once you publish it, you'll be able to see what it looks like in the newsfeed. So right here, you may have to add, hit the time zone. I don't know if, if you added a card on this, but I did. Did you? Okay, good, good. So then we should be fine. So hit continue. Okay, so it might be, it might, it might take you back to, we'll just simply publish it. And it should now read that payment method. Oh, perfect. Oh. We are good. Okay, so now, now we're set. Now we're now we're in motion, and and that ad will be going live tomorrow. So now, now as we published, no errors. Everything is all good on the payment method. So now to just look at it, as far as what what that ad would, would look like in the newsfeed, you can hit that drop down in the top right where it says View More Variations to the right of that that little drop down, you down right below the blue okay. dot right there. Yes, right no, here. to the right. That drop down right there. So if you click on that, go down to Facebook desktop newsfeed, view on Facebook, Facebook desktop newsfeed. Yeah, okay. click on that one. And then so now this is what people are going to start seeing that live down the street from you. So as they scroll through their newsfeed, let's just see what everyone's up to, see what people are posting. And then all of a sudden we come across a sponsored ad. Oh, see? there's my dorky self. I'm telling you, man, like. <laughs> A few times seeing that blonde hair, like you got the look. So it's not going to take long before that whole town knows who the heck you are. So now it just comes down to this is the intro video. So the next ad, the next video you want to start working on is, is the seller guide. If that's the route you're going, seller guide or, or buyer guide. But okay, that kind of just opens up a whole new can of worms on, okay, so do we have a seller guide yet or, or, or not? Okay. Like, do you have, do you have, do you have, um, I have, I have I, one. I'm trying to work on them. I have a ton of, did I send you all my examples? No. Okay. I would love examples. Oh yeah. Awesome. I have a ton of them. Like I have a ton of examples. Um, and all it would come down to is just obviously, you know, looking at a few of them and seeing which one, you know, has, you know, the type of content that you'd want to right. maybe get out and then just have someone I have like, have you ever used Fiverr? No. Okay. Fiverr is just a, a random website where there's people all over the world that are freelancers, designers, or logo designers, or PDF ghost writers. There's, and, and I've been using them forever. Like they're a very popular website, but 
it's somewhere where you can easily hire somebody. Well, it will eventually you have to hire somebody, maybe 15 bucks, 20 bucks, if that, to simply take a PDF and rebrand it to you. Okay. So for example, these PDFs that I'm going to send you are from other clients, their headshot, their contact information, right? That stuff is already on the damn PDF. So if I needed to redo it or re-edit it or just rebrand it, what I'm saying is that we can have, we can easily have someone do that for 20 bucks okay. where they can just rebrand the thing to you, you know, like just take a look at them, take a look at what I have, what I'll email you and, and just look at them and, and just picture your headshot on there and your contact information. That's what we'll need to do is, is just sim- simply rebrand it. Okay. But that could, that could be easily done, but that's kind of our, our next step. Why don't I do that? Let, let me email you those seller guides first and just review them. And then, and then we'll go, and then we'll go from there. Okay. Do you have me on the books for Thursday or no? What's that? I signed up for Thursday. Do you have me down for Thursday? We, we won't need to go that early because this, let let this one run a little bit. And then we need to, what we really need to do is actually, I mean, today's Monday. So Thursday could work today. Thursday could work because I'm going to email the seller guides and then just review these different seller guides. And let's talk about that on Thursday. So just talk about them on Thursday. Yeah, Let's talk about which route we're going to go with the seller guide on, on Thursday. Okay. Let's do that. And then in the meantime, we'll have probably a couple thousand views on this one. Um, so now let's go back to the ads manager real quick. And let okay. me just have you close out over there. So actually, you know what, what we had to do real quick also is create a custom audience, which will take two minutes. So okay. let's exit of this part. So now we got everything in motion. So you'll see it over here on the dashboard. You'll see um, now it's in review. So now uncheck the one selected to the right, that X, uncheck the uh, X out, no, to the very, very right. Oh, selected. X out? Blue. No, 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 down. You have one selected. Yeah, that blue. Oh, okay. Yeah. X out of that. So this is in review. So now click on the middle tab, add sets. This one, no, the tab. Okay. Yeah, right there. So now this one should already be scheduled. That's already approved. That's ready to go. Um, and then click on the campaign tab to the left. That should okay. also read scheduled. Okay, perfect. Okay. So it's just the ad, the video that's in review right now. And again, Facebook will approve that later on. And you'll get an email from Facebook specifically later on tonight. It'll say something like, um, your ad is scheduled or running. Okay. Once you get that email, the, the ad is fully approved and it go, it'll go live tomorrow. So one thing we want to do real quick, and you'll want to do this every time you run a new video ad. Again, this is the only one video views. Our second ad would say something like, Seller, you'll title it right here. It'll, it'll, it'll be titled something like seller guide video one and then okay. in parentheses conversions, right? So, so this is the only one where we're going video views. Um, but even on the, on the next ad and on conversions, you'll always want to get in the habit right away of going and creating a custom audience. So the moment I'm going to go and run that ad or set it up to go live tomorrow, for example, right away, I'm going to go set up a custom audience and I'll do that on every single ad. Okay. Every, especially every video, okay. every video, you'll really do that for every video, for every video ad, because the custom audience that I'll show you how to do later on around the web page or around those who opt in and land on your thank you page. And now, now those are leads. And now those need to be categorized under leads in, in the ads manager here in a custom audience. We'll do those later, like the links, the landing page, we'll do all that later as far as custom audience, but with your videos, your videos, I'm gonna show you how to do videos. You'll wanna do that for every single video for sure, is set up the custom audience. So here's how you do it. You click on the dots to the left and in your folder, if you have your folder still available in there, it should be under custom audiences. We would have saved that under custom audiences, but here just click on audiences. Okay. Yeah, click on audiences. And this will bring us to um, where we should have bookmarked in the beginning, which would have been, I think, this page where we're headed now. Um, so we click on audiences. Perfect. So this is where we want to be. Create a custom audience. And so now real quick, actually, okay, so we haven't had one. We haven't created one yet. Perfect. Okay, so now we're going to go video. But but again, in the future, in the future, it's all about custom audiences. It's all about retargeting. That's what I mentioned before. It's all about retargeting these custom audiences. And really, the two main, main ones is website and video. Okay. So, so in this case, we're going to create a custom audience around those who watch this specific video. 
but as we as we progress and go through more of our of our future calls, we're going to focus on on a web on a website. So okay. that's at the top website, we'll be creating a lot of custom audiences around website as well. Um, so this one's video. So go ahead and click next. Okay. And then over here, we're going to simply uh, hit the drop down, choose a content type, and this is where we go with a, a certain time length or percentage. So this is kind of where you put yourself in the consumer shoes just you being a, a, a normal consumer, just like anyone, just like, you know, all of us, we're all normal consumers. If I see, see a video in the newsfeed and I just sit there and watch it for three seconds, was that enough time to really know what the hell they were promoting? Probably yeah. not. Like probably not even 10, maybe, maybe 10 seconds. If I sat there and watched 10 seconds of something, maybe that would have been obviously a little bit more information that I could have got out of it. 15 seconds. Um, I could probably get some good information out of just 15 seconds of watching something. But again, if you have a minute long video and I just watched 15 seconds of it, that's kind of not the audience that I really, really want. I normally go with 25%. Okay. So if you watch 25% of my whatever length video, that's a good enough audience to, 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 to get back in front of. Okay. Because right? if you watched at least 25%, you, I caught your attention somehow, some way, I'm going to show you another video or I'm going to show you another just normal ad. So now click on choose videos right there to the right. And we're going to, we're going to create it around this intro video. So okay. there's the only video. So we're going to hit confirm. Oh my God, look at that. <laughs> see, the thumbnail. See, now I don't think that's the same thumbnail that's in the actual app, no. but that's why checking everything before we go and set up the ad is kind of what you want to get in the habit of is and, and all you're doing is 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 rechecking your text making sure that there's no period or comma missing and then and then making sure that the title which is just a little bit a little bit about me making sure that that's exactly what you wanted and then the thumbnail because at okay. this point we can no longer change it you know okay. so and the video plays right away anyway so no one's sitting there watching <laughs> your thumbnail you know, I was so, like, that's not the thumbnail that was on the other one. So Okay, good, good. So then, yeah, yeah. so that'll be random. So hit confirm. Okay. And then over here, we're going to simply name it. And all we're going to do, we're going to leave the 365. That's fine. And okay. then just audience name, it's going to be um, intro, intro viewers, intro, intro, intro video or intro video viewers or intro viewers, however you want to name that, but intro video viewers, and then in parentheses, 25%. Okay. So this is a specific audience and, and, okay. and this audience is an audience. So go ahead and create audience. This is an audience. So if you remember when we were on step two, when we were on step two on the ad set, we were choosing our budget. We were choosing our location of target. Yeah. And then I, and then I went over the include and exclude of custom audiences. This is an audience that you'll always want to include. Okay. So as you run your next ad, every ad, ad number two and on, always retarget these video viewers. Okay. You know, so, so those are that, that, that's, that's super, super important right there. So, um, so as you, as we go on, we'll just keep creating audiences around people who are watching future videos. And then as we really figure out what landing page software we're going to use, then whether it's conversions or whether it's a different one, whatever, we, we have to just make sure we create custom audiences around those, those pages. Okay. Okay. So, so this is in place. Our custom audience is good. Our ad is good. Let that thing run. And then let's chat Thursday. And what we'll go over on Thursday is, um, is, um, is that seller guide. I'll email you those seller guides. Okay. And, and then if we need to hire somebody for a few bucks to rebrand it and redesign it, then, then we'll, we'll get that thing going. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Cause that's our next step. That's our next step is, is to start capturing leads after this one. Awesome. Cool. Thank you. Okay. Yes. You're so, so welcome. Message me if you need anything and then we'll chat Thursday. Okay. Okay. Thank cool. You. Have a good one. Bye-bye.